today I'm going to be talking about, um, this is kind of going to be part one, although I'm going to loop both these uh, videos together. This is going to be part one of my uh, vintage bow build, and uh, this is a recurve, and I kind of got this idea off of several people. Um, Dave Canterbury definitely got me thinking uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe it was like three or four weeks by now, I'm not sure, but a little while back um, he did videos talking about fiberglass bows or vintage bows and how um, inexpensive they were and how big of a value they were. So that got me thinking um, and I looked into wood vintage recurves and they really were not that much expense or much more expensive than fiberglass and they were a lot cheaper than um, recurves are being made right now. I decided to get one and uh, this is uh, the one. This is a Darton Super Flight Ranger. This is a 50 pound bow. And the reason why I got 50 pound, well technically you don't need it in the lower 48. Um, here in Alaska legally to harvest moose you have to have at least a 50 pound peak draw weight. So I had to get a 50 pound and that was one of my um, things. I had to get 50 pounds and I really like Darton's. They're my personal, as far as vintage recurves go, they're my personal favorite. So it came down to um, the Super Flight Ranger and a Valiant SL, both by Darton. And I decided on this one. I like this one just a little bit more. Um, it's, it's a pretty awesome bow. As you can see, I don't have a string for it yet. That is coming extremely short or shortly. Um, it'll be here within a few days, but um, I'll be showing that later. Like I said, I'll just tie that into this video. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really hard to fit in full frame. I have my camera all the way backed out, um, so I can't get this thing any further, but uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It is a recurve, of course. Um, yeah, can't really show this side too well. It is 58 inches overall, so it's it's a little bit lengthy, but shorter than most longbows. So it looks really awesome. I really like this bow. It's not in too bad condition. It is, of course, used. Um, so there are some scratches. If you get really close up on this, uh, this is actually green. It may look black. I'm not sure how well it picks up, but it's a very dark green, both on here and here. Um, there's, you can see some scuffs, but nothing major on it. Um, it looks really nice. And anyways, that's, that's all I have for now. I can't really talk a whole lot about how it shoots because like I said, I don't have a string for it. Um, I have arrows and everything else, but I don't have any string for it, so I can't do a whole lot for it. Um, anyways, so guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing the follow-up part, which is just going to roll into the uh, other part, it's going to be kind of the part two of my uh, vintage bow build here. As you can see, it's pretty much set up. Um, you can see it's strung now. I put its quiver on it. It came with that quiver. I just didn't put it on there because, of course, with this quiver, it kind of has to stand like this. It forces it to stand. So um, that's why it's kind of standing the way it is. It really stands nicely with its quiver, but... Anyways, um, I don't think you guys will be able to see, but uh, or the colors of this string. You guys can obviously see this string. This is its black portion here, um, where you're going to knock the arrows and shoot with your fingers. This, without any finger uh, protection, is pretty forgiving on the fingers, although obviously it is a 50-pound bow, so that string does bite into your fingers. If you're just barehanded fingers, it does bite into them quite a lot. Um, but the actual color of this, because this is a custom uh, string, I had them make it in a brown and buckskin were the two colors they called it, and uh, it actually came out really nice. It looks a lot like artificial sinew, and that's kind of what I was going for um, when I got it. So it turned out really nicely. Obviously, here's the arrows sitting down here. Um, these are just gold tip traditionals. Um, they despite what they may look like they are not actually wood they're just carbon kind of painted to look like wood and I didn't really want that but that's really all I could find um, for carbon arrows with feather fletchings um, as you can see these guys do have feather fletchings um, this is all I could find 
uh, with the proper spine and everything. So, anyways, this is the bow, uh, pretty much done. Um, I'll try and get it close up here and see if I can actually get the color of that string. See if I can focus. Okay, I guess I can get the color in there. So that's kind of what the color looks like. Um, the brown, the dark brown um, color in there is uh, the, the brown. And then the, the really light brownish is the buckskin. And I think it turned out really nice. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, uh, that's the bow. I think that's in focus. So anyways guys, I'm out.